Hello there. In this video, we're going to look at solving simultaneous equations. Uh, this is a topic which comes up uh, at GCSE and at uh, A level. And at A level, it comes up in Core 1 and Further Pure 1. And the focus today is going to be on the simultaneous equations and the way we set out our working um, that appears in Further Pure 1. Now, let's have a look at what we mean by simultaneous equation. We mean a simultaneous equation, but by that we mean an equation in which we have two or more variables. In this case, we have x and y, so we have two variables. And we're going to find the values of x and y that simultaneously makes the equation in the top row true and the equation in the second row, the bottom row, true. Now, we're going to look at the notation they use in uh, Further Pure 1, or the OCR Further Pure 1. And they refer to the equations by row. So this equation is row 1, and this is row 2. Now, to solve a simultaneous equation, we try to get the numerical coefficients of at least one of the uh, variables the same. So I'll show you what to do, and I'll show you the notation. I'm going to make the numbers in front of y have the same value. Not necessarily the same sign, but the same value. And watch what I do. My new row 1, which I call row dash 1, is going to be 7 times the old row 1. So it becomes 35x plus 14y equals 7 times 16, so it's 112. Now my new row 2 is going to be two lots of the old row 2. I'm multiplying the whole row by 2 to give me 6x minus 14y equals 52. Just check that I got that right. Yep, 7 times 16 is 112. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate one of the variables. I'm going to do this by adding row 2 to row 1. I add when the signs are different. So look at our notation. My new row 1 is going to be my old row 1 added to my old row 2. And we get 41x plus 0y. I haven't left it out. I put the 0y in. Equals 164. And my old row 2 hasn't changed. Now, my next line of working is to find out the value of one of the, um, of the variables. In this case, it's going to be x. So my new row 1 is going to be the old row 1. Whoops, not being consistent with my notation. Divided by 41. Or I could have written it row 1 over 41. And we get x, 0y divided by 41 is 0y, equals, how many times has 41 got 164? It goes 4 times. And my old row 2 is unchanged, so I don't need to write anything. Now this is a lengthy method. The main purpose is to show an algorithm to show systematically what we're doing. There are lots of shortcuts in, the real, you know, in a real situation and in an exam, unless we're forced to show uh, to use this notation, we, that we would use a quicker method. Now, what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to multiply my, uh, my new row 1 It's going to be 6 times my old row 1. That gives me 6x plus 0y equals 24. And as you recall, my old row 2 I haven't altered after the first instance. And finally, what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to now focus on row 2. So row 1 doesn't change. But my new row 2 is going to be my old row 2 take away the previous and that's what I mean by old row 1 so the, the x's disappear naught y I'm sorry minus 14y take away naught y is minus 14y and 52 take away 24 is 28 and we're almost there all I'm going to do now is my new row 2 is going to be my old row 2 divided by minus 14. So what do we get? 6x 
plus 0y equals 24. And then minus 14 divided by minus 14 is 1, so y equals, and 28 divided by minus 14, 28 divided by 14 is 2, so it's minus 2. I mean, really, to be consistent, my final bit of working should be this. In other words, I'm going, I'm finding again what, uh, um, I'm altering row 1 so that it's in terms of just uh, 1 lot of x. So it's Actually, of course, I should have been consistent here. And these are the solutions. Sorry, that should be minus 2. Now, that's a rather involved way. If you read the uh, Further Pure uh, textbook, you'll see that, in fact, they cut corners. They don't, for instance, write R1 equals 6R1. In fact, I'll show you with another one. Let's have a look. I'll just put it on pause. OK, let's look again at um, some simultaneous equations and um, the steps that we miss, we miss out, that... Uh, um, makes the, the method outlined in Further Pure 1 a bit more like what we'd use in real life. So here we have our simultaneous equations with row 1 and row 2. Now, look at the steps that are missed. I'm going to um, eliminate the y's. And I'll show you how we do this. My new row 1 is going to be 3 lots of row 1, the old row 1, the previous row 1, take away four lots of the previous row two. Now, what happens here is we've got to do a fair bit in our head. So three lots of two take away four lots of six x's. So that's going to be six take away 24. So it's going to be minus 18 x. Three lots of four y is 12 y. Take away four lots of three y. They disappear. And now, 3 lots of 26, which is 78, take away 4 lots of 33. I don't like doing this in my head. What do we have? We had 78 take away 120, 132. 78 take away 100, and I can't do that in my head. 78 take away 132 is going to be minus 56. I'm not entirely sure that that's the case. Yes, it is. It's minus. No, it's not minus 56. It's minus. Oh, my brain's gone. That's what happens with the Christmas holiday. Hang on, what's 132? Take away 78. It's better 54. So it's minus 54. And then we get 6x plus 3y. Our row 2 remains unchanged. Now, So we're concentrating more on the notation that's used. One I'm hasten around, I'm not a big fan of. Right, now, how are we going to get rid of the uh, x's? Well, it's going to be row 2. And my ro new row 2 is going to be 3 lots of the old row 2 take away row add row 1. So in my head, 3 lots of 6x is 18x, add minus 18x, so I get 0x. 3 lots of y, added to 0 lots of y is plus 9y, so that seems okay. Now, 3 lots of 33, which is 99, added to minus 54, gives me mm, 45. And then, if you notice, my previous, um, sorry, my row one hadn't changed. So there we have it. We're almost there. We've got rid of the y's in the first row and rid of the x's in the second. And then we'd finish off by showing our new row ones and twos in just in terms of a single value. Um, uh, sorry, just in terms of one x and one y. So uh, my new row one would be old row 1 divided by minus 18 to give me x 
Not y divided by 18 is not y. Minus 54 divided by minus 18 is plus 3. And then my new row 2 would be my old row 2 divided by what's the coefficient of y? It's 9 to give. Not lots of x plus y equals 5. So we've done it in one, two, three steps, if you will. But we've had to do a lot of work at the side. But that's the notation that they use. OK. Right, we'll look at uh, simultaneous equations involving two variables uh, further in some later videos. Thank you for listening.